the night before my flight and I'm making my bento box to take on the airplane with me. I was setting up for breakfast. That is when I realized I forgot that one thing. The one thing I always bring. You pick up new subscribers at the airport. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. And we can't wait to try out the simple theories. We <laughs> You guys are gonna stay till the end of this video because today I'm going to announce the winner of the Teddy Blake giveaway on the video I did three weeks ago. Many of you have told me you really like these bento box videos I've been doing for my travels, so I thought I'd add another one in here. But also some of you have asked me, Eunice, why don't you just fast on your flight? Well, many times I do fast on my flight because if it's just a four to six hour flight, I will fast. But also sometimes my flights are longer and they go over an eating window. But also uh, the last time I flew, it was a four and a half hour flight that turned into a 36 hour ordeal. Okay, so now we boarded and flown all the way to Denver and they just told us we're being diverted to Albuquerque. All right, so we had our flight delayed, changed planes, diverted and canceled. And now we are in Albuquerque overnight and have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. So we're going to eat our bentos in the hotel room which means we ended up at another airport late at night. Everything was closed, everything was closed in the hotel. And I was really glad I brought that bento box with me. So now I always bring some sort of food and drink on my flights so that I have something in case something goes wrong or I decide I'm gonna get hungry and I don't wanna end up landing somewhere and eating some kind of junk somewhere on the way to my hotel or on the way to wherever I'm gonna be. So let's come along and see what I packed in my bento box for this flight and some things I actually picked up at the airport that were pretty healthy to get my second meal on my flight. A couple of homemade sausage patties that we made on our own for our own meat grinder. We marinated grass-fed beef and humanely raised pork to make these breakfast sausages. Trying these low-carb, keto, approved bagels to take so I can keep my blood sugar in check. And I'm gonna use these pasture-raised organic eggs. Eggs with just a little bit of A2 cream. I cook my eggs in this cast iron Japanese tamago pan, which allows me to get it out nice and thin and roll it up. The key to this is to put in just a little bit of egg so it cooks quickly and that way you can roll them up into these little rolls and that way they cut up and fit on the bagel perfectly. Then I topped it off with one half of each sausage patty. And at this point of the game, I realized the bento box wasn't gonna work, so I got my collapsible silicone container and put them in and they fit nicely. And then I added my fresh strawberries and blackberries. Cut it off again. Once I get to the airport, the first thing I do is check to make sure that my gate is still correct and that my flight's on time, and then I get some hot water from a coffee shop, and then I make sure I fill up with some filtered fresh water for my flight. Hero Clip works great because I didn't have enough room to put my water bottle inside my bag or pocket, and now I'm just hanging it off the back here. I knew my flight was going to be going over both of my eating windows, so I didn't have any veggies left at home, and I bought this protein bowl salad at the airport for my second meal. So whenever I get to the airport early, what I try to do is get some walking in and then find a nice, quiet, unoccupied gate like this to see if I can get some editing done or some videotaping without disturbing anybody else. And you know what? You can always get to a restaurant or a bar and enjoy a, a nice drink and a view like this.
While I was walking, these ladies stopped and asked about my luggage and I struck up a conversation. You pick up new subscribers at the airport. Yeah, that's a good thing, yeah, yeah. And we can't wait to try out the simple theories. <laughs> Although the weather wasn't great, we did get a beautiful view of downtown San Francisco as we departed. Okay, instead of using a single-use plastic bag now, I found a different way to protect my iPad in that seat pocket. To get to 10,000 feet, I'll take my fanny pack off and I will loop it onto my tray table so I can have everything accessible and then possibly even rest my feet. I have my camera mounted to the window. Let me show you how. And this is why I try to get a window seat so I can use this suction cup swivel phone mount. Always check with the people sitting next to me to make sure they're okay with me filming and then we got everything cleaned up and ready for breakfast. This time on my flight. And at that moment I realized something terrible had happened. As I was setting up for breakfast, that is when I realized I forgot that one thing. The one thing I always bring, my collapsible coffee cup. So I didn't get to enjoy coffee with my breakfast. I wasn't going to let that deter me from enjoying this wonderful meal on my flight, so I enjoyed that along with my berries and I had a wonderful low-carb meal on my flight. And now all I had to do was collapse down my silicone bowl and put it back in my bag. We'll check those seatback pockets. Please don't leave anything behind. We did not have to disembark the plane for our connecting flight, so I took the opportunity to do a few little exercises in my seat just to get my blood flowing and work out some of the blood sugar from my meal. As we got close to landing on my second flight, I decided to have my second meal of the day because I would be getting in late and I did not want to eat late when I got in. The good news is airports are starting to carry some healthier meals for those of us watching what we eat, and this healthy meal was going to fit the bill for me today. I packed a few high protein and high fat snacks to have along with this wonderful salad, and it turned out to be the perfect meal to have at 35,000 feet. I find these flock chicken skin snacks to be a great little substitute for chips. And I love these little nitrate free mini salamis because they have a lot of fat and protein which will keep me satiated and not spike my blood sugar. got here it's nine o'clock at night my blood sugar is still a little high when I got off the plane my blood sugar was this so I'm gonna go take a little walk just to bring it down a little bit we took a one mile walk and now my blood sugar is this you wondering what it is I carry in this little snack bag with me all the time that usually has my coffee cup but didn't let's go through it showed you these little salamis but there's a few left so I can eat them on my way home really when I have my collapsible coffee cup I bring a little bit of miso soup with me because this is going to allow me to have some soup if I need something salty and warm. I also bring a little bit of collagen bone broth because this right here is one of those things that if I happen to get sick on the trip or on the airplane, this makes me feel better almost instantly. And of course, my instant coffee. I love this brand because it's organic and these little packets make it so easy to make it. Um, they're decaf, I've switched to decaf coffee these days just because I find I sleep a little bit better at night. And then just a tiny little thing of allulose, which is a um, no calorie or low calorie sweetener that does not affect my blood sugar. And I usually have that with my coffee. 
I have a handy little, look at this salt and pepper shaker. Isn't that so cute? This was given to me as a gift by one of my viewers, Maggie Valera. Thank you so much. I did bring that along with me just in case I had something else like the salad. I wanted to sprinkle that on. I also bring in, you saw me using their Tangine, which is this tiny little bottle. I did another video on all where I get all of my little snacks and things like that. So this was with me. And then of course, this little tiny bottle of Tabasco sauce, because sometimes you just need a little hot sauce. And again, I bought that at the same place and I'll link that video up here if you want to see that shopping haul for all of my travel snacks. I always bring this little snackle box with me. Um, it has these little divided areas here. This will allow me to remove these dividers and make it any size I want or one big large snackle box. But in here I have macadamia nuts, some chocolate covered almonds, and some of these little Parmesan cheese crisps. That way these are nice high fat snacks and these will give me some nice fat on my trip to keep me satiated for those longer flights. Or if I get to my destination like I am now and I haven't eaten it, it gives me some nice um, high protein, high fat snacks to have during my trip. And the very last thing that I have in my little snack bag is the winner of the Teddy Blake giveaway from three weeks ago. Okay, not the actual winner, but the name of the winner is in this bag. I've got all these little names in here. The winner is Emerson Jane. Emerson Jane. 841, you are the winner of the Teddy Blake giveaway from three weeks ago. Congratulations, that's so exciting. I'm so excited for you to get your great gift. And for those of you who are looking for my next giveaway, I'm going to be doing another giveaway at 50,000 subscribers. So make sure you get all your friends and family to sign up and subscribe to my channel. I'm excited to do that giveaway next. And as usual, you guys, thank you for entering. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for all your support. And remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. It has officially been 13 hours since I filled this up and this water is still hot in this thermos. That's quite amazing to me.